You better start today. Hold up and jam. How are we? We're here. Are we? It's are Friday. We? Are you ready for the weekend? Or I'm what? ready. I'm ready. What you got going this weekend? I'm going to be in Charleston. Oh, are you speaking? I am. I'm doing a library event there, Oh. Um, which I'm looking forward to with some of my favorite authors. Oh, really? So I'm really, really excited to be with all of these writers and some friends. I'm so happy when you're, by the way, I love, I still love every time a writer comes in here, whether yours or somebody else. You like literally treat them like rock stars. We have, we have a celebrity walks in, you're like, hey, oh, cool, hey, hey, oh my God, well, I'm Coco so Mellers. One of my like, favorite writers wrote this book called um, An American Marriage, mm. and she's gonna be there. And I'm like, Hit and Henry's coming with me, which oh, will be fun. Is. We're gonna have a little time. Um, a little weekend, time. good. Well, not a whole weekend, but a day. A time. A night. And I'm like, honey, you gotta read this book. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna be there. And he's like, you just gave me a three day notice. Yeah. Three days. I'm like, yeah, three, you is can't it, read a book in three it? days. Was he reading? Has he been reading? No. 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 He hasn't. No. He hasn't. He's been busy being a TikTok star. Uh, <laughs> oh, can yeah. we talk about Gwen Stefani? She's got a new single. Yeah, this one's called, this is interesting, Somebody Else's. Ooh. Okay. And it just dropped. Mm hmm And some people are calling it the breakup anthem we've oh. all been needing. Okay, let's hear it. That's it. That's it. And I pray that's for them, it. whoever they are. But that's it. That's the, what she just said, that's the whole thing when you know you're over it. When you don't even care. When you're like, oh, there, there. If you have a, and an ouch, ooh, ah, who's she? What's she about? Yeah. Google, Google, Google. What's her story? Google, Google. But if you just go, oh, hi, you know you're totally and Yeah, and you know it. who feels bad when that happens? Mm. The ex. Yeah. Because sometimes they they're like, hey, look. Yeah, uh, look who I have. Uh huh. And remember, well, anyway, so what? we don't know who she wrote that about, but probably her ex-husband. Yeah. But I, when she said, I pray for them, whoever they are, I don't see that as malicious, knowing Gwen. No. Right? I feel like, I don't think it's like, poor you. Do you? Well, I think here's the thing with some, oh. some with slogans like, I pray for you, or bless your heart. Bless your heart can be like, bless Sweet. your heart. Uh -huh. Like, really, bless your heart. Or bless your, your heart. heart yeah you know yeah. I pray for them whoever you are could be Aww. I hope y'all do well yeah. I or... love you walk down that aisle or <laughs> Lord help her <laughs> yeah could be both of those okay now we've got a very very touchy subject that we need to discuss it's a viral TikTok that has people on our staff riled I mean up there was the I office. think there was a fight it was a throwdown. So let's see. Let's talk about the debate. Okay. So this is it. There are two friends. Mm -hmm. One name is Sunny. One name is Jen. Mm -hmm. They went to a hotel. One of them, Sunny, thinks that you know the hotel robe is free for the taking. She thinks that robe, because she wore it, is now hers. Jen has a different opinion. Take a look. You are at a hotel, and they have a, a very nice, luxurious robe in the room. Mm -hmm. If you really love the robe. Mm -hmm. This lunatic thinks that you can take it and bring it home mm -hmm. and that it's part of the cost of the room. What I said back, because I just found out that my friend, my best friend's a robe stealer. I didn't, I didn't know it until actually right now. Mm -hmm. You just said there has to be a sign that says if you'd like to buy this robe, mm -hmm. here's where you can buy it. But if it doesn't, if the sign is nowhere in the room, you believe that this is free to take home for yourself. Yes. Okay. So First of all. I want a girl's trip like that bad. I'm jonesing that. Doesn't getting, that look fun? Isn't getting it fun dressed, to get dressed together? Yes, and go out. And put on and some music. Drink. Yeah, have a drink while you're getting dressed. I love okay, that. Okay, so Jen Sherman is a Peloton instructor. If some people are saying, oh, I recognize her. Was Jen the one that was talking she about was the, the one who said, No, she was the one who said her friend was a thief. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. that was Jen. Well, listen. Here's the truth. No, you can't, can't take, take the robe. robe. Everybody knows what, you What, you're can't. just going to pack the comforter because it's comfortable right. too? Why don't you take the ice bucket? Seriously. It doesn't have a sign on it. No, you know what? That desk has a <laughs> that desk has a beautiful lamp. Put that in there. Yeah, I can wheel the chair out. I mean, you know what? There's no have sign you, now, on it. 
Have you ever? Oh, geez, what now? Taken the robe? Anything. Soap. Or sometimes, you know, when you ask for toothpaste because you forgot yours and they bring you the little yeah. thing? Yeah. But no, I'm not taking. What is no, there to I take? I don't know. It'd oh, be so oh weird. I have taken a washcloth. What? Well, <laughs> okay. You, did you accidentally? We all, we know it. She opened her luggage. <laughs> she <laughs> took out her clothes. She spread them nicely here, t -t 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 and then it I fell in. By the way, I always unpack in a hotel. Me too. I, don't care and I know staying, you do that. Which I don't is care so if weird. it's one You're day so or two organized. days. I love to unpack. I don't like rummaging through a suitcase trying to find. I now, want the drawer. I want to find my things. I want to close the drawer. Even would y'all ever expect Hoda? To want to organize her always, belongings? Always, but back to the robe. We think it's a no. No, sorry, back to when you stole the washcloth. No, no, I took it. This is like the time you said I, you made out in a furniture well, store. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what hotel was it? I <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Wait, so bad. You did it on purpose? Yeah, I took it because something was leaking. I can't remember, and I just wanted to wrap it up in something. I didn't have anything, so I was like, oh, I'll take the washcloth. Now, Sorry. So do you think you can take robes? No, you cannot take a robe. But you can take washcloths? Well, if you need it. <laughs> All right, Halloween <laughs> is coming up, so for a good time, you got to try this. Okay, if y'all are starting to think about the trick-or-treaters, oh. we've got some new options oh. from our favorite, and let's be honest, everybody loves a Kit Kat and a Reese's. These okay. are some new options for this year. So we've got Kit Kat Ghost. Ghost Toast. Ghost toast. They're your classic toast. wafers wrapped in a cinnamon toast cream. Oh, these are them. They're orange for the holiday. Let's see. Died especially for the holiday. Mmm. Tastes mm -hmm. like cinnamon toast. Mmm. Mm. If you like cinnamon toast, you'll love that. It's good. It's sweet. Super sweet. Give your kids two of these and see what happens. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, the next one is a werewolf track. This is from Reese's, okay? Okay. It's the classic chocolate peanut butter, of course, but it has a vanilla flavored cream layer on the top. Look at that. Look at See that. See it here? Uh huh. Looks good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, do you I ever freeze these? No. Oh, I dare you. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> both are in stores now for a limited time. They're both delicious, y'all. Get them. Really good. All right, we have a great show for you today. A couple of co-stars are here. Aubrey Plaza, Maisie Stella. They've got a new heartwarming movie. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that movie again? Okay. I'm not saying it. All right, and plus, the grandmother who's become Hollywood's hottest new comedian, Leanne Morgan. It's a trip. Plus, Jen and I are going to try out some oh. viral hats. Do we have yes, to? Yes, we do. Why After are you this, taking a perfectly we good have Friday to. and spoiling it? It's going to be good. <laughs> okay, we found some hacks. <laughs> some people told us they were going viral, so we wanted to put them to a test in addition of... Ken Hoda and Jenna Hackett. Okay, we're going to watch a video of the hack, and then we're going to find out if they really work. And I believe a lot of these might. So let's watch the first video. It's a hack to take the air out of a sandwich bag. So first, look what she did. <laughs> okay. We have to put the grapes in there? No, yeah. They're in there. Oh, okay, so it's like a vacuum seal. But hold on, the grapes, it, they could have anything in this bag. It's yeah, not the grapes. Not, no, okay. it's not. Well, okay, I so you know. close it part way. Okay. And then you take your thing, well, and the side, the side. Yeah, it's on a the straw. End, on the end. And you're trying to vacuum seal it, but we don't have a vacuum, we'll just use our breath. Okay, what okay, are you doing? Okay, it's in vacuum no, seal. No, you didn't yeah. suck it in. Girl. Oh, you have to use your mouth? <laughs> I'm sure our kids are gonna love us breathing on all their grapes. <laughs> You're breathing in. Hopefully you don't have, well, you don't think saliva's going down in there? I see the saliva, there's spits, there's droplets. Come here, zoom in. See right there? See that driplet? No, that is not. Yes, it is, Hoda. I, yes, I, it I is. I wasn't finished. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> if there's COVID in your house, do not try this. And everybody's always sick. No. Just, why does it have to be? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's one. Oh, I'm like this. You like it? I'm going to like it. Go Did ahead, you read just it. pee? No. <laughs> okay. Here's one. It's a hack that will help us measure honey out easier. <laughs> okay. Because I'm measuring honey is no, well, a real it, no, problem around well, the world. No, it is because you can't get it off the spoon. Come on now. First, let's spray our Thank spoon you. with Pam. 
or whatever. So that everybody gets gas. You know what? <laughs> right? This gives you terrible gas. Okay, would you please stop poo pooing everything? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. Ew, what are you doing? <laughs> it's the extra pan. She just threw the Pam out no, on the it counter. Was too much. Well, no. that's because that's no, how Pam is. Then you go like this. No, it isn't. Okay, good luck. That's going to give you the runs, but <laughs> delicious. Please. Okay, look. How about this? A perfect. Oh. Oh! Look at my spoon! I do have a suggestion, though. I do have one suggestion. What? She has a it's note. A hat. I have a she note. She has a note. I have a note. Don't use olive oil spray because <laughs> it may taste like olive well, oil. It may take, taste like olive oil. But I think like you could use the regular kind. Okay, That's the kind see. that gives you the let's toots. Let's see. Let's see. Plop. Yes. All right, next. That's a hack. Yeah, that's a hack. That works. Okay, All this right. is about... Um, oh, when you have to put on your own bracelet, you know you can't yeah. do it. You're like constantly trying to... Okay, so this is what <laughs> they say to do. Take some tape, tape down the end. Oh, and oh, then that pull your smart. arm hairs that out. Seems Give smart. yourself a little wax. Oh my God, why are you negative? Give yourself a little wax. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get it. Okay, so you tip with this. No, try the bigger one. Because we know that if you have a choice between these two, you'd be going with the larger. Okay, all right. Okay. Let's see. Tape it. But how do you get the first piece of tape on it? Well, you just... Did you? Okay, I unfortunately you did. taped over the... Well, that's not how you do it. Okay, I got my... Look at my... Okay, mine's happening. I think it... I think I'm just going to quickly... You know what else you can say? Hey, Hoda. Will you help me put my bracelet on? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You know, it'd already be done. No, this is good. I don't, is it? Yeah, it is. Except uh, for I'm <laughs> not a lefty. Yes! 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 I mean, you can always phone a friend, but that's kind of good. If you're stuck, this is good. What would be easier, saying, hey, Jenna, will you get my bracelet? Or do it, tape, bringing some <laughs> well, scotch tape? Your body and yourself. Yourself. What if you're at home by yourself and you have to go and you're like, I can't get it on? Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's okay, true. this was all really good. All right, y'all, coming up next, what advice <laughs> would you give your younger self? We're going to ask co stars Aubrey Plaza and Maisie Stella coming up right after this. Oh, my God. Okay, you know Aubrey Plaza from the hit show Parks and Recreation and for her Emmy-nominated role in White Lotus. And you might remember a young Maisie Stella, who I remember very well, Aww. starring with a real-life sister in the hit series. Oh, Nashville. Oh, we Aww. do. Okay, well, now these two actresses are starring together in the new movie, My Old Ass. Maisie <laughs> plays a teen girl okay. who is visited by her older self, played by Aubrey, and has given some words of wisdom for the future. Take a look. Dude, I'm you. You're me. What's up? <laughs> I don't have bangs. I have no plan. Left boob. One cup smaller than the right. <gasps> and uh, no, it never catches up to the right. But honestly, you get used to it and it's okay. Guys can't really tell. Girls can, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, how okay. are we? We're so happy to see the two of you guys together. And yeah. Maisie, so Maisie nice. was cast, <laughs> wait, was Maisie cast first and they were like, who, who, could, could, play? It, who could play the oh, other yeah. el older the elder. version? <laughs> the elder. The older ass. The <laughs> Maisie, Go on, you can say. Maisie, did, you, did you know about Aubrey before this? Uh, oh my God, of course. Yeah. I was, yeah, I mean, me and Megan Park, the writer and director, had like, talked about like dream people to do it and Aubrey was always like what did one you of love her in what were you I mean Parks and Rec obviously yeah, yeah. Um, I would also just watch White Lotus and uh -huh. I like thought you're so obviously so brilliant in that um, but also just like I'd seen so many like interview <laughs> clips and I think <laughs> oh, oh had you ever so seen her dressed up as a witch <laughs> and now you're in one right now <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> we have to just show this clip every single time. Yeah, here. we just show it. We just do. Well, okay. Say the word witch and it'll... And no. I think you hear the concept of this and you hear the title yeah. and you think hilarious, which it is, but it's also yeah. super sweet. Yeah. And I heard you cried when you read the script. I cried every time. That was like how I knew. I was like, I have to do this. I don't know. There's just something about the concept of it. It's such a universal concept you know mm -hmm. like um just that time goes by so fast and it's it's like i don't know it get, it got got me every time oh and you're a protector in this i mean you're literally looking out for your younger self you're like be careful of this and be careful and don't of date that. a guy named chad chad, chad was stay away be, from the chad no, chad was gonna be bad news i mean that was yeah Maisie, i remember you from nashville i remember watching you and your real life sister sing on that show loved you and then you. for a while you just became a kid again you went just yeah. back to life back to doing things 
things, and then you got back into the kind of show business business. Yeah. Tell tell us about that. What made you come back in? I mean, I, I was still auditioning through that time. It's just like you, when you're 16, 17, they hire someone who's 30 to play that age. So <laughs> I'm like just now getting auditions for the things that I wanted when I was like 14. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was very. I had like four years that I wasn't working that I just like went back to school and really did all the things I had like romanticized doing for so long of just like having a locker and a backpack and oh, like going to prom. Aubrey, you have a lot of projects out right now. Yeah. I know. Are I'm you so tired sorry. of yourself? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I like, would like to movies out. Um, three yes. things at once. I was, I was going to publicly apologize about this and um, it will never happen again. Okay, so <laughs> Megalopolis. Yeah. Agatha all along, which if you, I was in two airports this weekend and you see, you it's know, everywhere. it's everywhere. everywhere. It is yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Does it feel, I mean, you've worked at this a long yeah. time though. And so, you've had success already. This isn't new. I mean, it's so but weird. But we were just talking about this before. It's just the universe works in mysterious ways. I don't know. Every you know, it, I think that there was all kinds of things that um, ha I don't know what's happening. But it's, it's everything's Everyone aligning. Just loves it's all aligning. Her. I yeah, know. everybody you know, does love her. No, truly, like it just—it's a special when you see something special. You just wait. Because right, yeah. by the way, you are unique in a sea of sameness. You are the one who I'm sure your publicists are saying, "Don't do this, don't do that," <laughs> and you just do what I you do. I always do it. I always you do it. Always hey, by the way, they maybe <laughs> don't even say, "Don't do this, don't do that anymore." They're over it. Oh no, they do. They do. They do. By the way, how's your knee? But my knee's doing good. Oh yeah, baby. No pain. She's a basketball. Okay. She's a basketball okay. player. I didn't realize you were a major athlete. I am actually. Caitlin Clark called me an athlete. Okay, so um, you. We should say you hurt oh your God. knee at the All Star game because you were shooting around. Yes, with I was. Some people. My sister Natalie and I were at the WNBA All Star weekend, and we were ex we were um, touring the new Mercury Phoenix in Phoenix, the yeah. Mercury practice facility. For their team and Team USA was practicing there as well, and we were all playing a game of knockout, which is just like a shooting game. Like, yeah. I, um, Did like you play course. in high school? I played in high school. <gasps> I played as an adult. I played in the uh, what? adult uh, yeah. Los Angeles M Municipal League, I believe that's what it's called. Wow. Um, What's your position? What, yeah. You know, this forward. girl played you're, in you're, high school. You're a point guard. You're Maybe a point guard. I can, yeah, I can uh, handle the ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> This is so fun. I can't Wait, believe it. Were you? Are you I played well, in high school. I used to dream about it. Really? Forward. I used to forward. dream about it. Oh, okay, yeah, back to you. Just okay, back to you guys. Sorry. You guys You guys have a great, right. great film out. This is so it's much fun. It's called My Old Ass. It's in theaters <laughs> right now. Okay, coming up next, y'all, she's a grandmother and she's a comedian and she's having a moment. The very funny Leanne Morgan joins us right after this. Leanne Morgan is a stand-up comic who is at the top of her game, but it took nearly 30 years to get there. As a 57-year-old grandmother, she landed her first Netflix special where no topic was off limits, including her husband. But my husband and I met, and I was so cute. And I was little, I had on little britches, and my thyroid was functioning, <laughs> and I felt good. And he was so enthralled with me and so in love with me and pursued me and bought me presents and, and vacuumed out my car <laughs> and did all kinds of things for me. And we celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary this year. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And now I truly believe he would not pull me out of a burning vehicle. <laughs> We okay, she's sharing her journey in a, a <laughs> hilarious new book. It's called What in the World? A Southern Woman's Guide to Laughing at Life's Unexpected Curveballs and Beautiful Blessings. Oh Ashley, and we're Wait, so happy to here. First of all, we love Thank you. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My children are here with me, and they can tell y'all, and this is the honest to goodness truth, I'm not blowing smoke up y'all's fanny. <laughs> I have loved y'all, and I and I have watched, and this is my favorite show, and I don't go anywhere and get anything done until I can go and watch the Today Show. Oh. Thank y'all for having me. <laughs> you're here. I mean, first of all, you're hilarious. Hilarious. Thank you. Thank and, you. I mean, we, we know it took you a little bit to get a Netflix special, but you were always making people laugh, yeah. like at jewelry parties and such. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I've got three children, I'm, and I've got two grandbabies, yeah. two grandsons. But I, um, I, from the time I was little, and I talk about it in this book, I knew in my heart I was going to Hollywood. But I think probably nine or ten years old, I felt like 
God revealed that to me. Okay, <laughs> so, but I was in a town of 500 people oh. yeah. and a little country girl, we're farming people. And so I, I thought, well, I'm crazy, that's crazy. <laughs> so I went on to college and I, um, but I mean, didn't do well in college. And I hate to say that to me all, but I did and I, uh, and I was, uh, and, Okay, and so I dropped out, and then I got back, and then I married Chuck Morgan, their daddy, and he took me to Bean Station, Tennessee, in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, and um, I wanted, I had my first baby, Charlie, and I wanted to stay home and breastfeed <laughs> and be with him, and, but I needed money to get my hair highlighted and get a little outfit for him every once in a while. And so I started selling jewelry, like women sell Tupperware and Mary yeah, Kay, yeah. all the time thinking, I'm going to Hollywood. I mean, I'm in the Appalachian Mountains, but I'm going to Hollywood. And I'm going to have my babies. It was crazy. And I started, I was in women's living rooms, and we would, you know, eat a brownie, eat some D up, and then I would, I was supposed to be talking about jewelry, and I, I developed my act. I, I talked about breastfeeding and hemorrhoids. <laughs> How tired I was, and their daddy didn't hear them in the middle of the night, and I applauded his death. And um, and women thought I was funny, and I look back on it, and that was my little comedy club, and all those little women's. Oh my God, I love that so. And much. then get a load of them, Miss Texas. Yes. Then my husband sold that little business, and we went to he went to work for a big company that sent us to San Antonio. What? And I had three, five, and seven. That's how my babies were. Uh -huh. And I started driving back and forth to Austin to the comedy club, <gasps> and and I started doing. And open mind. I could have come Wait. to see you. I know. We well, were, were probably a baby. Friends. Well, you were probably a little baby. No, I was probably. <laughs> <laughs> we could have done it together. But that's where I consider my home what? club, and that was 20 something years ago. Oh, oh and then gosh. I've been doing comedy and couldn't get arrested. Nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? Like, in my early 50s, yeah. I, I really got in a bad place where I said to my husband, Chuck Morgan, I think I probably need to give this up. And I cried and I mm. and I said, I think I'm going to open up a hardware store and get a cheese wheel <laughs> and, and I'll just, people can gather and I'll dazzle. And he went, you've lost your mind. And I um, hired these little boys to do my social media and they put out one clip about me talking about Chuck Morgan <laughs> and me going to Def Leppard and Journey. <laughs> concert and how everybody looks sick and um, had plantar fasciitis. And that went viral. And I started selling out all over the United States. That is over. I mean, it, like somebody turned a light oh, um, in a dark room. I'm not kidding. And does Chuck care that he's kind of the fodder for all these? Chuck Morgan care that he's no, such a fodder? No, he really uh, doesn't. He's he, he knows believes he's, in but, you. By the way, he believes in me, but he also knows he does all this. Yeah, but, it's true. It's true. But it is true. But when you were about to give up, and he'd seen you do it for years and years and years and years. But he told you no, honey. Like this is something he believed in you from the very yeah, beginning. He did, and I and we would switch off babies in the when I would go and work and have a gig. He would he would in the minivan meet me. I would give him the kids, and then he would take care of them so I could oh be at gosh. night. Oh out in my! A, oh yeah. So you love Chuck Morgan, There's even Chuck though Morgan. he wouldn't save your life Aww. or anything. There's Chuck Morgan. <laughs> He's so cute. Wait, let's go in over the in the book. <laughs> Can we talk about some of these things that yeah. you say you will never do again? For example, you will never diet or take diet pills ever again. Well, no, I'm going to diet, and I would <laughs> like to take that shot. <laughs> But I have terrible gastrointestinal things, so that's, I don't know. If I can, you know, Manage keep all it. that, yeah, take magnesium and can take that all right. But I'll never take Dextrim again. Oh, Dextrim. Dextrim. I was 17 with my mama and my sister, and we, our heads would itch and we'd fight in the yard. I mean, it was like we were on dope. I mean, we were taking dope as a family. As a family. We were. You, you say know, it's actually it. good that you didn't get famous <laughs> earlier because <sighs> you feel like, you know. Would I have been worse on dope? Or, you know, if I were 20 and, and I still had my bloom, I think, I don't know if life would have turned out you know, good. The way it did. Yeah. I know yeah. you said. I know you said at one of your Tupperware uh, jewelry parties that someone actually laughed so hard that they peed their uh -oh. pants. Oh, I'm close. No, no, okay. no, no, don't. I'm close. Don't because close. she's wearing silk. We need to make sure we protect her. She's a national treasure. Okay. I uh, know she. Uh, is. Don't let her pee Leanne, in her nice Leanne, silk dress. Leanne, you are Leanne. so. Leanne Hilarious a challenge. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting the book. We're watching all the we things. We need more time with we Leanne. We need more time. But we can get that book. It's called. It is called What, what in, in the, the World. Because look, what in the world? What I'm with Hoda and Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> so happy.
We love you. We love you. Oh, you. Oh, oh, my God, you're so funny. We oh, I can't every bear week. it. Can you come every week? Yes. Just, oh and I'll God. wash y'all's clothes and I cook or whatever. Oh, oh my God. Okay, get that book. Oh, you can God, get it that's so, I feel so Fresh good. Don't you feel so light? Good. You're awesome. Or wherever you get your books and watch your Netflix special. And you're about to be in a movie with Reese Witherspoon and, and Will oh, Ferrell. I, we forgot about that. And I play Reese Witherspoon's big sister, Gwyneth. And that little thing did that for me. Reese Witherspoon, they called me and said, she wants you to do a table read. I go, what's a table read? <laughs> And, I, and I she gave me that part in that movie. That. How amazing. I know. That. She's like my little angel. It's honest much. to goodness. We love we that love so you. much. And we get why she's, she believes in you. Oh. We do, too. We love you. Coming up next, guys, Bobby is back with four favorite <laughs> beauty finds this fall after this. We love that you. Was the We are back now with our girl today, style editor Bobby Thomas, for another edition of Bobby's Best. Today, BT brought us some of her fall favorites. You can shop it along, scan that QR code. First of all, Hi, honey. before we get to any of this, we're just so happy you're here. Yes, Hi, we, we love you. you. We miss you. Know, and we're so happy that you're here. Okay, get us okay. started. Lip liner. Lip liner is having a major okay. moment. And I have to say, stay with me. These are some runway looks. But what's so awesome is you can do anything from yeah. a cherry cola bold lip to a nude sculpted mm -hmm. lip. Yeah. And fun fact, Ilya, it's crushing 20, every, one is sold every 20 seconds. That's this wow. Yet, right? And I think why people are really loving it is because the crayon is just the perfect it's size. It's easy. You can line and define. Yeah. And I'm wearing a drugstore brand. There are accessible ones at the drugstore. I am wearing this Revlon. And one of mm -hmm. my ultimate favorite finds, Ulta has a great in-house brand. $14 and mm -hmm. you get both the small if you want to define and the larger tip so that you can just color mm -hmm. it in and look at all these great shades and create a pop of Can I ask red. you, could you use these on your eyes too? Is that crazy? No, it's not crazy. I would say okay. I like to stick okay. with things for eyes that are for eyes, eyes because they test it. No, this is Refi. It's a popular brand because they came out with something called Lip, lip blah, Sculpt and Set. Do you see this other two-ended component? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after you line, they have a clear formula that you can swipe on to set the color. Oh. They also have this blurred scenario, but one mm -hmm. of the things I know you will both have, look at the tip of there. It's down mm -hmm. here for wow. the camera shot. Furry. The tip lets you scrub oh, yeah. and condition oh, at I the same that. time. But if you're asking at home, how do I do this? Just draw a little X. I'm gonna do this on my hand. Draw an X at your Cupid's bow and then follow through like this. Oh, that's a good And lip. then just smudge, just smudge in and let it blur because that's actually really mm -hmm. on the point. Trend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let it blur. Wow, thank you. For okay. That. okay, let's now, talk about your next find. I have to say this was a very cool backstory. So Happy Skin, great name. The HPP in the name is what it's all about. It's about this cold pressure technology. Mm -hmm. And over the pandemic, Hannah Penn went home to her parents. They were in the grocery business. And she said, I wonder if foods could use the industry standard of cold pressure to mm -hmm. seal the ingredients at the highest potential mm -hmm. without preservatives. Could we do that for skincare? Mm. Leave it to Hannah Penn, cool. a young entrepreneur, the first and uh, at right now this line needs to be refrigerated, mm -hmm. but you're getting the highest potency. They even extract more active ingredient without preservatives mm. for your skin. Okay. So amazing. These are great face masks. So right. try cool, that out. Cool. Okay. Okay. Now your nails. I've already said. These are, look <laughs> at these nails. Oh my God. Okay. Aren't they cool? Love, beautiful. So we have a little B-roll, but here I'll give you an up close shot here. This is all about this new eye-catching Manny that looks like an optical illusion. They're yeah. very cool. Thanks to micro glitter. Believe it or not, there's glitter at the base, and I did get these at the gel bar in NYC. Take a look. This the is colors. an at-home brand. Oh, so you don't want to go to a nail salon and you want to just try this at home. I L. So this is it right here? Yes. These are magnetic nail polishes that you can use their wand that's a tool and it's I love nail polish is what it stands for. You use the wand after you apply the polish to push the, the glitter around because oh, that's what that I'm about to was. show you. If you look, yeah, then it looks kind of it can look like a cat eye. Yes. So if you hold this like for me eyes. and move this and then I have to say so I go like I said to a nail salon. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? And what cool. I want to remind everybody is you'll see a neutral 
mm -hmm. is a really wearable look. You don't have to go for a shocking color and the effect. But what I also like is these are press-ons. Can you believe that? By the same company? No, this oh. one is actually by <laughs> Olive and June. But look at this bright red. Can you see this? <laughs> yes. Find yeah, my camera. Got it. This bright red is so beautiful, and even these nudes, um, it does have that effect Whoa. on them, and it's like 10, 12 bucks that you can get that. Those are All very right. cool. Take Here's my tip. If okay. you go to the salon, ask if they have LED lights versus UV. It's better for your hands. And last but not least, Sarah Young. What is this? This is a patent it's a protector? pending. No, it's a silicone cover for your nails. It's called Tippy Type. It's patented. What, what, it's what do you mean about? for your nails? It's the first oh, so ever you know, keyboard. Look at the video right there. The first oh, ever keyboard so that allows room. Can I for your tell nails, you? So you're I not picked, clicking all no, the We don't have well, you short. click the other ones. But wait, in July, I bought this because it went viral. It sells out all the time. And I've been using it, and now I can't use a regular keyboard because oh, no. it's so good. Well, that's amazing. So I have to say, congrats. congrats. Okay. Bobby, we you love you. Love you, Bobby. Welcome back. To check out Bobby's best, head to today.com slash shop. Coming up next, y'all, the 52-year-old fashion influencer helping women feel good at any age. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, and to celebrate, we want to introduce you to someone we are loving on social media. Her name is Caroline Baudino, and she is our latest fave follow. Caroline became a fashion and lifestyle influencer in her 50s, and you're going to meet her in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at her story. One of my happy tools is getting dressed. Me looking good does something for my brain. Social media powerhouse Caroline Baudino is the creator behind the fashion site Being Caroline and the Instagram handle Shop with Caroline. She's earned a loyal following thanks to her videos motivating midlife women to do one thing, get up and get dressed. Ladies, I'm feeling animal print today. In her 20s, Caroline found her calling as a Spanish language actress but she gave it up to raise her two sons and care for her father with Alzheimer's. Putting everyone else first left her feeling overwhelmed, anxious, and depleted. At 46, she took a good look in the mirror and decided to find herself again. She layered on her jewelry, applied her makeup, and styled herself like it was a special occasion. Everyone thinks that middle age, you're, you're over. You're literally just getting started. Today, she has more than 1.5 million followers across her platforms, and she spreads the message, when you look good, you feel good, and do good. Her success as an influencer has led to brand partnerships and a podcast called Coming In Hot, where she talks about everything from menopause to mom guilt. You deserve to be happy. You cannot be at everything and everything to everyone. Encouraging women to put forward the best version of themselves at every age. It's okay to take time for yourself. Enjoying your life, that purpose, that contentment, that's living. So proud of me. Wow. Well, oh it's gosh. we're so happy that you're here. Thank I like you. your very basic message, which is get up and get dressed. Totally. And I think sometimes if you can take that first step. So at what point were you when you needed to hear that? You know, hold up. First of all, thank you for having oh gosh, me. So I'm like honored here. to be here. <laughs> but the truth is, um, like all of us, I became a mom. I was mm -hmm. always considered myself so independent and like yeah. I knew I, I thought I had it all under control. And yeah. then I became a mom in when I was 38 and 40. Mm -hmm. And it very quickly realized that mm -hmm. you kind of deplete yourself mm -hmm. and you end up being everything to everyone except for yourself. And when my dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, my mom completely fell apart. And it made me look in the mirror like, would I know what to do? Would I know mm -hmm. how to handle things if things Things fell apart mm -hmm. and it actually made me look in the mirror it made me realize that I wasn't living my best life I actually mm -hmm. didn't recognize myself anymore mm -hmm. I realized I was like I didn't look good I didn't feel yeah. good and I really wasn't doing good mm -hmm. you know what the technical term of it is I think it looked good to everyone else but it wasn't, wasn't feeling right. you weren't it wasn't right. authentically it who wasn't you authentically are. me yeah, yeah. And I was like I felt like I was like you know trying to be the best mom right. whatever that means to yeah. everyone else but I completely forgot about myself yes. and mm -hmm. my own goals and dreams mm -hmm. and I'm like we are allowed to live and be happy too I mean mm -hmm. I think there's something so amazing that you said in the piece which is that middle age is when life begins yes. mm -hmm. you're in your 50s you have this you've started this new lease on life this yeah. whole new career so for people that are feeling yes. in the way you felt yes what's like, your is it advice too late? you know it's not too late and I want to say that at 50 I feel now I'm 52 and I feel like I am just getting started yeah. I am starting with experience you know I'm not starting over yeah. I have experience now I have knowledge um, I have an understanding of who I am and what I like I have so many boundaries now and so for me 
getting started right now, you are never too late. You can pivot, you can evolve, you can change. I thought 50, once my kids left, I thought life was over. Mm -hmm. And what I realized was I can actually start a new career. Mm -hmm. I can still learn something. Mm -hmm. I can still actually do trips, travel. Why was I thinking that life was over and I'm supposed to just sit home mm -hmm. and wait for pickup away from my husband to yeah, get home? Right. Just, you know, and listen, nothing to shopping and no. lunch. But there's a point where we have brains, yeah. you know, we are actually really strong and capable and smart. And I don't know why we let that go just because we're married and have kids. Yeah, exactly. you got a couple of good things. Yeah, we can show just us your kind of do. Just, we have just a couple seconds. I believe, show us what we can okay, add. I, afford, I believe in affordable. Yeah. Okay, I think yep. every woman makes the excuse to not get dressed because they say they can't afford it. And I'm telling you, you can look fabulous okay. and affordable. Okay, tell okay. Us. So we've got a great tote here, a hobo, which is perfect for fall, faux leather. It fits everything for the go, work, whatever. Like it. Then we've got the sunglasses that look great on everyone. I love a metallic or a pop of color, so you keep things really simple. Mm -hmm. And then add a me metallic or a color. And, and cowboy boots, Look guys. at the boots. You're wearing some, too. I'm wearing boots today. The cowboy cute. boots, you can wear them with jeans, shorts, skirt, dress, anything. Boom. And you just look cute and put together. Oh look at your jewelry. You, you are I know, Caroline, you're plus awesome. in them. Thank <laughs> you so much. We get it. We totally Thank get you. it. Thank you, Caroline. And you've officially been added to our fave follows list. Oh, We're so excited. excited. You guys. We Thank love you. you. We love you back. Thank we'll, you. we'll be back right after this. Well, that's going to do it for us next week. We've got Ina Gordon. I can't wait for that. Plus SNL alum Kate McKinnon and actress and singer Ariana DeBose. Oh, and one of our favorites, Teddy Swims, will be here. I can't wait. What? Have a great weekend. Bye. Mwah.